Welcome to part four of how to paint this painting. This is an acrylic painting, um, 40 by 50 centimeters on stretched linen canvas. Okay, let's get back to it. Let's continue. Okay, so the painting has been righted again. And I'm just adding a little silver, metallic silver with the palette knife. Palette knife is a very effective tool. Now I'm going to remove some of the parts with the rag. And touch it up a little bit with the smaller brush. With the silver Add a little shape on the left here. I gently apply some silver smoothly with a small synthetic brush. A little more precision with the smaller brush. How's that dark green look? Hold it up to the canvas and see how it fits. I've decided to go with a little bit of that with a dark with the black. So I'm adding some strips to the top right for interest. Going with three there. Touch them up a little bit. I'm using a little bit of black charcoal and I'm just doing a little light lining with it. And I'm going to come in with the yellow with a with a bigger brush, a 50 millimeter or a two inch brush. The edge of the brush, the edge point, can be used for finer lines too. I'm 
try adding some yellow to the right there. See how that looks. A little line using the edge. A little, not 100% about the yellow area here. So I'm going to remove it with a rag while it's still wet. Keep your rag kind of clean so it doesn't introduce other colors that are on the rag while you're removing the paint. Now I'm a little bit on the frustrated side. Twist the canvas and I'm gonna splatter some yellow on the bottom left side here. See how that looks. It's certainly fluid. Fluid looking. I'll blend the yellow into the kind of current of wind. If that's what it is. I'll highlight with some accents with some black using a smaller brush. Still considering that paint splatter of yellow. Some more highlights of black. A little bit here and there. Just remove that. It doesn't fit. I'm using the small flat brush for more control with the black. I'm not happy with that. I'll remove that. Look like a guillotine or something. Just wipe it away. So I'm removing one of that those black elements there. They didn't quite fit stood out a little too much. Now I'm going to add a silver line to the other side at the bottom left here as some sort of counterbalance of silver to the upper right structure.
connecting the silver structure down the right side here. silver, some sap green. Now you can use the back of the brush to scratch or scrape away some of the paint. I'll add a little black here now next to the red using a, a number six flat bristle brush. See how that looks. Still puzzled about this section. Now I'm going to add a black construction, geometric shape for balance with the top right. A bold move, adding some thick lines that are vertical. To me, it's, uh, it's like a bridge. Didn't plan it, just felt it could become a bridge. So let's, let's do that. I'm working on the foundation now. dry brush with the black uh, come across the top right making sure those are level the lines are level and then I'll remove some of the middle section middle area leaving some outlines And then using that finer brush, I'll touch that up with some more straight lines for interest. And then remove a little of that to touch it up. Now I'll come in with some white and cover up that uh, blue which was really standing out. See how that looks. And I kind of liked how the blue was there so I'll, I'll reveal a little bit of the blue, leaving some of that white behind using the rag. Come
come in with the Pella knife and use uh, a little bit of the yellow to merge with the wind, as it were, in the upper left section. it all together. Okay, that concludes part four. Check out part five in the link below.